In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate MQTT Sparkplug telemetry data using a PLC Next PLC, transmit the data to a Hive MQ Cloud MQTT broker, and visualize the information using the Ignition SCADA platform. And for demonstration, I'm going to use this PLC Next technology starter kit, which consists of a controller, I.O. modules, potentiometer, and some buttons. One of the biggest challenges in integrating data from industrial data sources is the ability to automatically discover components that are producing the data. And the simplest way to achieve that is to connect your data sources to an MQTT Sparkplug network. In this demo, I'm going to showcase how, using its MQTT engine module, the Ignition SCADA platform can automatically discover my PLC Next controller and visualize the telemetry data that it is generating. To enable my PLC Next controller to participate in an MQTT Sparkplug network, I'm going to deploy onto the controller a PLC Next Edge gateway, which is a software runtime that effectively turns my controller into a Sparkplug Edge of Network node. And for coordination of the discovery process and exchange of information, both components are going to be connected through a cloud-based HiveMQ MQTT broker. Okay, so to deploy the PLC Next Edge Gateway, you go to this URL on the Phoenix Contact website. Once you're on the page, you can then download this PLC Next Edge installer. When that is done, make sure your controller is on the same network as your computer, and then go ahead and run the installer. And then you can simply follow the prompts to install the software on your machine. Okay, when the installation is finished, we go ahead and run the application. And then here, you enter the IP address of your controller. Followed by the password. And then click on next. Next, we select the Install via Web option to download and transfer the latest version of PLC Next Edge Gateway onto our controller. Okay, so our PLC Next Edge Gateway has been successfully installed on our controller and we can access its interface using a web browser. So I've entered the IP address of my controller to access my PLC Next Edge Gateway interface. And when the interface is loaded, I can go ahead and click on Add under Drivers here at the bottom to add our Sparkplug driver. So I'll go ahead and enable Sparkplug. And then I'll open my Sparkplug driver interface. So this is where I need to put in my Sparkplug details, which include the broker URL address, its credentials, and the Sparkplug topic namespace. But first, we need to provision our HiveMQ Cloud broker to get the broker details. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is to set up my HiveMQ MQTT broker on HiveMQ Cloud so that we can point our PLC Next Edge gateway to this broker and start publishing Sparkplug messages to it. So I've opened the HiveMQ website on my browser here and I'll proceed by selecting Cloud on the menu and then clicking on Hive MQ Cloud. And then here on the Hive MQ Cloud page, I'll scroll down to the Options table. So here I want to sign up for this free version, which allows me to connect up to 100 devices. So I'll proceed by clicking on Sign Up Now. I'll sign up using my Google account. And then here, you can select a cloud provider where you want your HiveMQ Cloud cluster to be located. So I'll select AWS. Next, I need to set up the credentials that MQTT clients can use to connect to this broker. 
and then I'll click on add. Okay, so I have successfully created a free Hive MQ Cloud account. Now, if I click on clusters here, you will notice that a broker cluster has been automatically provisioned for me. But to start publishing to this MQTT broker, I'll first need to get the broker connection details that we can put on our PLC Next Edge Gateway. So to do that, I'll click on Manage Cluster here. And on this page, I'll go ahead and copy my broker cluster URL address. Now here, you'll also notice that communication with this broker is secured using TLS encryption at port 3883. Now, in case I need to update my MQTT client access credentials, I'll click on access management here. And you can see that I can delete the existing username and password and assign new access credentials. Okay, so that's all we need to do for our MQTT broker setup on Hive MQ Cloud portal. Now, the next step is to configure our PLC Next Edge Gateway to start publishing Spark Plug telemetry messages to our Hive MQ MQTT broker. Okay, now back to my PLC Next Edge Gateway interface. I'll remove this broker address and put the URL address of the Hive MQ broker cluster that we just created. And I'll leave the port at 3883. I'll also leave the Keeper Live timer at 60. And then here I'll specify my Spark Plug group ID. followed by a spark plug edge node ID. I'll leave the spark plug client ID as it is. And then here under TLS, I'll make sure to select verify server. And then here I'll put the access credentials that I set up in my Hive MQ broker cluster. Okay, when that is done, I'll go ahead and click on Submit. Okay, so as you can see, we have successfully connected to our Hive MQ broker cluster. And we can see here under Drivers that Sparkplug status is connected. Okay, now that we've successfully connected our Sparkplug driver to our Hive MQ MQTT broker, the next step for us is to configure the metrics that the Spark Plug driver needs to push to our broker. So to do that, I'll click on the driver here. And then I'll click the button to add a new metric. Select data source. Click on downstream. Now, if you had your gateway connected to downstream devices, for example, a Modbus device, they would show up here and you'd add their data as Spark Plug metrics. But in our case, our source of data is I.O. modules on our PLC Next controller. So I'll select XG Online, click on Modules, go to my Analog Input module, select Channel 1, which is where my potentiometer is connected. Then here you can see that we have a voltage value. And if I move the potentiometer slider on the static kit, you should see this value change. Okay. So I'll select this voltage input. And by the way, you can scale this value here if you need to. But in my case, I'm going to send it as a raw voltage value. I'll assign it a name. And then here, I'll specify its data type as real. And then here, we select update on change to make sure that our spark plug metric only gets published when a change in its value is detected. And if you want here, you can select to add a dead band for that metric. So I'll leave it at zero and then click on submit. Okay, so we've successfully added our metric. Okay, so I've gone ahead and added two digital input switches, switch 01 and switch 02, to our spark plug metrics.
and you can see the value change when I push the buttons. Okay, so what this means is that we should be publishing MQTT Spark plug messages to our Hive MQ broker on Hive MQ Cloud whenever a change is detected on any one of the metrics. But before we go on to connect our Ignition platform to the same Hive MQ broker to receive and visualize this information, we need to test that we are indeed publishing Spark plug messages to our MQTT broker. So to do that, I'm going to use an MQTT client software that is compatible with Sparkplug called MQTT.fx. Okay, so I'm already connected to my Hive MQ Cloud broker cluster using MQTT.fx. So I'm going to go ahead and subscribe to receive all Sparkplug messages that are being pushed to my broker. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and move my potentiometer slider. Okay, so you can see that we are receiving our information. If I move it down, you can see it change. And then when I push one of the switches, you can see that it is being published on change. Okay, now let's go ahead and set up our ignition platform to connect to our Hive MQ Cloud broker, receive these spark plug messages and visualize them. Okay, so I'll go ahead and open up my Ignition SCADA platform running on my PC. So what I need to do here is to configure an MQTT module from Ceres Link called MQTT Engine. And by simply putting my Hive MQ Cloud broker details, the MQTT Engine module will connect to the broker, automatically discover data that is being published by my PLC Next Edge gateway and pull all the metrics in their respective folder structures. So to go to my MQTT engine, I'll select config here, scroll down, and then click on settings under MQTT engine. So as you can see, my MQTT engine is currently enabled. Next, I'll go to the servers tab. And this is where I need to put my Hive MQ Cloud MQTT broker details. So to do that, I'll go ahead and create a new MQTT server, fill in my Hive MQ broker details, click on create MQTT server. Okay, my MQTT engine is configured. Now to view those tags, I need to open Ignition Designer software. I'll pull up my Ignition Designer software here and then I'll go to my tag browser and select MQTT Engine. And then if I go under my Edge nodes here, you can see that my demo room group ID, which I created on my PLC Next Edge gateway, is already appearing. And if I expand that, you can see PLC Next Terra Kit which is the edge node ID that I assigned to my PLC Next Edge gateway. And if I expand that, you can see my client ID or device ID. And under that, you can see all of my metrics that I'm publishing to the Hive MQ MQTT broker. Now, bear in mind that I'm getting all of this hierarchical information by simply providing the Hive MQ MQTT broker address and nothing else and Ignition is able to automatically discover all of this information through a Spark plug network. Now, if I move my potentiometer, you can see the value change in real time. Now, from here, I can start building powerful graphics to visualize this information using Ignition's perspective module. So to demonstrate that, I'll create a sample page And then I'll drag my voltage metric onto the canvas. Select a slider control to visualize the metric. And then here I'll adjust the scaling accordingly. And you can see my slider move as I adjust my potentiometer on the PLC Next data kit. Next, I'll add my digital switches.
and you can see them being updated on change. Okay, so we've successfully built a spark plug solution that allows the Ignition SCADA platform to automatically discover data that is being generated by a PLC Next controller and published to a centralized IFMQ MQTT broker in the cloud. I hope you enjoyed this video about real world MQTT for Industry 4.0. Please check out the HiveMQ YouTube channel for more videos like this.